Oh, come on, GB1. Ah, there you are. Hey, buddy, I uh, think you made a mistake. Well, there were some zombie pirates. One. Whoa! Yeah, I managed to take care of those, but uh, that's not the Black Pearl. Uh, well, uh, well, we're going to figure this out a little bit later. Our, our friends are here. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Group Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and uh, that's not the Black Pearl. But in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Metal Earth Premium Series Black Pearl and looking at everything that we need to know to get this treasure built. What are the tricky bits? How hard are those sails to form? And why does everyone keep saying that this model is a lot harder to build than what the package says? These are all great questions, Groovers, and we're going to get the answers. Let's get started on the workbench. There we have it, all of our pages needed to build the Metal Earth Premium Series Black Pearl. Ship builds always have a few tricky bits, and I feel like this one will be no exception. The first thing we'll look at is how to form our hull, and get these little details in the right place. Next, we'll look at our sails and how to connect them to the ship. And finally, we'll touch on putting all this together to create the Black Pearl. Although there may not be too many pieces here, I think the metal might give us a hard time. Would you expect anything less? Well, yeah, GB1, but we're not even in the right time frame. It's the year 2021 and everyone's wearing masks. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, one second. Now, this model requires us to do a lot of weird bends. What tools do we need to get it done? That's a great question. Let's ask our tool expert, Timothy. Oh, you get to have all the fun with the zombie pirates? I guess I'll tell them the tools. The Metal Earth Premium Series Black Pearl is a build that has thinner metal than you might be used to. Not only will you need to be careful forming the pieces, but you will need the right tools like... Nippers. Tweezers. Mandrills. Fondant tools. And... A Black Sharpie. Uh, try to save some for me. Thanks, Timothy. I already know that your favorite movie is the Pirates of the Caribbean. All that popcorn you've been taking in. All right, Groovers, now we looked at our instructions and we have all of our tools. There's only one thing left for you to do, and that's to press that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers here on the show and really could use your help. Not to mention we're building some pretty cool projects, but uh, no worries, take your time though. Ah, it's getting uh, kind of dark out here, I think. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get down to the workbench before it gets too dark. The Premium Series Black Pearl from Metal Earth is a build that any pirate fan will love. With its black metal adding a certain spooky aspect to the ship, it also adds something else. A bit of flimsiness that I wasn't really ready for. Let's get started with our hull. This is one of the biggest parts of our ship, and it also requires the most work. We need to take the pedals at the bottom of our ship and line up the edges. I tried to do this with my fondant tool on a wood service. It didn't really quite work out. Instead, I would try to line up the pedals one by one using my tweezers, starting with the pedals closest to the edge. Once you have one pedal lined up to the side of the ship, we can work on the next one, making sure to leave as little bit of room as possible. Again, the gaps are the enemy here. Let's connect these tabs as we go. All right, we're looking pretty good, but my ship is a little thick. This may not seem like a big deal at the moment, but when it comes to putting part two in place, we're going to have a bad time. The four tabs on part two go inside of part one. This means if part one is thick, the struggle is real. We can pull part one to make it a little longer, but we need to be careful not to stress the metal too much. This stuff can easily break if we're not careful. Okay, looking good. Now we can add these shrouds. These are really nice and easy. If you're having a hard time getting access to the tabs, try twisting the tabs first, then bend the part in place. This method can really help with awkward placements, like our next part, sails. These sails aren't hard to shape. However, they can be hard to connect to part 10. I use my dapping set here to get an even shaping across my sails. 
you can use almost anything to help you get this shape, like a marker, but I do recommend starting with something a little bit bigger and then working your way down to the correct size. This way you don't accidentally crease the metal while forming. Let's go ahead and put our sails on. And just get... Okay, these parts need a little bit of finagling to get in. If your part is properly formed, for the most part it should fit into place. You can also check the number on the sail to make sure you're putting it into the proper place on our mast. I found the tabs here can get in the way when you're trying to slide the sails into place. With a little quick up and down motion and a little bit of jiggling, we can get it right in place. If you accidentally scratch some things up here, that's okay. That's what that marker's for. Yep. Even the pros can scratch up things from time to time, and that black sharpie covers all this larceny. Okay, our first few sails are looking pretty good, but we still need to do a few more. Step 4 has us doing some more bending, but this time we're going to be connecting our masts too. The masts are so unforgiving. If you bend one by accident backwards, you might end up breaking it. The correct way to attach these two pieces together is to ensure that the rectangle is on the right side as we put the mast in place. Double check your instructions to be sure as well. Once we bend the tabs, we can install them. Just like before, we might need to move things around a little bit to get them into the proper spot. Using multiple tweezers here can be helpful. You don't want to bend this massive piece. Let's get these little twists in. And there we go, all of our sails attached. And now let's put this all together. I found this to be a little menacing. The tabs don't want to stay in place, and I think this was because I overbent that bottom earlier. This means I need to adjust things a little bit more by pulling and attaching the tabs as I go. No, it's not a perfect way of getting the right shape, but it will work for now. Just remember, it's super easy to break the metal. I like to think that I have a feel for these things over the years, uh, but this one did get to me a few times. After our tabs are secured, we can reinforce the shape of our black pearl by adding the back part 32. Part 32 also has some small lamps we need to shape. These guys are all about matching up the edges. Just a few little bends like this, and there we go! Now we just need to take these tabs and make a little adjustment to make it a lot easier for us to attach it to part 32. Line them up, and with a little bit of a push and a twist, we got these guys attached too. Let's move on to the last bit of detail, the shrouds. These little guys require us to think ahead. These shrouds sit on top of one another, and if we bend one too early, we'll block ourselves a little bit later on, making it impossible for us to secure our tabs. I recommend lining up your parts first, and then securing the tabs on the bottom. Then go ahead and shape these shrouds to the top, securing the tabs with a nice little bend. Okay, there we go, our first two are done. Uh, let's go ahead and do the rest. There we have it, the Metal Earth Premium Series Black Pearl in all of its glory. I had to come in from the outside. The TARDIS is a safer place, especially when your droid puts you out in the middle of nowhere. This build was a lot trickier than I was expecting, and like I've said multiple times before, that metal is the cause of it. Yes, the bends and things here aren't too difficult, and if it wasn't for the metal, I would say this would be a great beginner build. I definitely understand where people are coming from when they say that this build is a lot harder than it looks. And I wouldn't recommend it for new builders out there, instead recommend it for people that have a few builds under their belt and want something that's a little trickier. 
All right, Groovers, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Black Pearl with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. So we got all kinds of really cool projects coming out in the future. Want to help the channel grow and build some really cool models too? Well, check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really cool models on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. Until next time, Groovers, keep building. All right, GB1, we have to talk about history and geography. 